Hello, brothers and sisters. Come on in. Just jumping on here to let you know that you're not crazy. These last few years have been challenging, and you're not crazy. Actually, you're not just surviving anymore. You're going to start thriving, right? Maybe you are thriving already. That's good. Um, it is the 22nd of June, the day after the kickoff of summer. The longest day was yesterday of the year. And day uh, light is conquering the dark night. And we are experiencing the growth and excitement that comes with love growing and being alert and being aware and the, being part of the great awakening that we are sharing with our brothers and sisters all around the world, our neighbors, our family, and um, planting a seed, right? Just give the truth, give the truth, expose the evil and the lies and give a little truth here and there. Don't bury someone alive in seeds. Just plant a seed here and there, not all at once. You, 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 you can push people away if you come on too powerfully all at once to someone who's not used to it uh, or that's still making more of an impact on the couch cushion than in the actual reality the world. Um, but I have a couple things I want to read to you real fast. Uh, and uh, something I wrote the day before, yeah, a couple days ago on the 20th. And then also, um, and that's entitled Some Thoughts Before Summer, and a great quote that I found. I don't know, a week or so ago, and I did some calligraphy about it uh, with the quote, and it's kind of fun, very good for these days, talking about the spiritual spirit battles that are going on, that are manifesting into the world, into our earth plane, from above, from the heaven, the third heaven, and we have the authority and we need to keep utilizing it, developing the discernment and that sort of thing. Um, but first, don't forget, um, please like and subscribe and check out the link right below this video. There's a link for a free guide that will help you keep you and your family and loved ones um, strong and healthy and keep building your immune system with the natural herbs that you can harvest that grow all around us in the wilderness, even in, um, oh, like empty lots and parks and stuff like that. You can find a lot of these plants growing wild and you can also grow them easily in your backyard or on a deck in a pot even a windowsill for some of this stuff. So go ahead, get that link, and also you'll get a, the free my new my newsletter, and we can keep in touch that way, just in case you know something goes crazy with some of these platforms, which we know has happened in the past and is going on still with the censoring, right? So we need to be ready to have plans B, C, D. <laughs> I know people that have had 18 channels taken down. <laughs> now, luckily, we have BitChute, we have Rumble, Truth Social, as well as YouTube and Facebook and all those other ones. But if they want to censor us right out of their business, that's okay. We have other options. YouTube, Rumble, Telegram. I'm all over the place, Hiking Druid. And uh, come and join my group on Telegram, Hiking Druid Explorers. 
hiking druid, one word, space explorers, explorers, okay? And I share all kinds of my ideas and different memes that I find and stuff like that. All right, I'll show you this calligraphy I did in my sketchbook that I use for some of my art pieces that I do. Let me see if I can get the light better. And um, anyway, I'm going to read this, but I thought you might like to see it. And I did some of my stylized, like over here, down here in the bottom corner, my stylized Celtic cross that I do. And uh, let me read it to you. This is a quote, but the hour is coming. And now is when the true worshipers will worship Papa in spirit and truth. See how appropriate this is? For Papa is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. That is Jesus the Christ. And you can find where he says this, John uh, chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. John 4, 23 to 4. All right. So there's that. And I found that so exciting. I decided to do sort of like a calligraphy piece with it. Now, so the day before summer, and uh, I was thinking about summer and those long days. Also, all the things that are going on. Um, I don't know about you folks, but I am having a roller coaster ride. Hang on, I'm going to clean the lens on this camera. I don't know. If that made any difference? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, so I was thinking about the things that are going on. We are, we are having um, lots of roller coaster rides of energy. You know what I mean? Sometimes up, sometimes down. I even had a had a surprise last week. I call it my surprise unplanned vacation. I got up one morning and almost fell over, and I was. Um, I, I, I had a bad inner ear infection and it was messing with my balance. And uh, it got so bad, I couldn't do very much. So that's why there's been a little lag in the videos, but I, I'm hoping to uh, start doing a lot more. I'm going hiking tomorrow and uh, I'm going to bring a camera so that I can make a video out there and just show you folks the beauty of the main wilderness where I live. Um, well, this is not really a poem, although I think it could be a kernel of a poem if I worked it over, but it's actually, I think it's a couple different ideas, so it might be a springboard type of deal for two or three different poems, but it's sort of touching on things that are going on and um, it's free th prose, it's free thought um, and hey, we're fighting for freedom, so let's do it. Some thoughts before summer. These are amazing days, challenging, growing, learning, flowing times, healing, revealing, balancing, relationship building. We know you, you know who. Onward and upward, inward and outward. Finding others, sisters and brothers, discovering, uncovering. I'm proving myself is improving ourselves. Just write down the word improving. It's actually I'm proving. So as you're getting the symbols, as we're taking the symbols back, meeting and greeting, 
the tribe, the vibe to thrive, not merely survive. Just like he says, he made us to be, to be, come, move, create, and take action, connect, erect, fashion, that inner circle, the safest sanctum, brainstorms, sharing, caring, thoughts flowing and flaring, soaring, exploring, upper, outer realms, spiritual traveling, lies and mysteries unraveling, no more storing and bargaining, no more warring or targeting. Say farewell, burn the boats and bridges, take action, begin living, expounding, standing, fulfilling his story. History is full of them and us. We are heading towards enjoy we us. Don't forget to breathe deeper breath. Don't forget to achieve as we recreate circles within cycles. It is a fine wine. It is the high time. Do the thinking, think the doing. We bind the evil above, we thwart and banish their wicked plans here. Push through to view the new you. Give thanks every day, every way to the creator of all things. Our Papa. Uh, whoops, <laughs> I already read that part. Wait a minute. Oh, see, I... No, I didn't read this part. Wait, let me keep going. Our Papa, our story is his story. When we flourish, it's his glory. Revel in this frequency, nature's rhythm, the God flowing. Join, joining his knowing, touching upon his glowing. And now we've gone and shared and grown a circle. A.D. Boynton, 620-2023. I love it when things go full circle. <laughs> and we are living circles, cycles, circles within circles, little cycles within huge ancient cycles. All right, guys. Um, I hope you liked that. And like I said, if you did, please give us a thumbs up, share this, um, subscribe, click on that bell so you get notified if it's on YouTube that you're watching. And th this helps more people to see this, get this information, receive this information. I'm just sharing what I'm being shown and it's just a great time to be alive and pushing through and not giving up and not surrendering and not giving consent to anything that is against his story, his rules, his plan. Trust in the plan, it's his plan. Ask him what it is. He'll, he'll tell you, invite Holy Spirit in. He'll guide you and he'll help you to know how to hear him and how to develop your discernment, which is telling the difference between good and evil, truth and lies. This is essential right now. 
And remember, Jesus is in the spirit. His return is in the spirit. That is what he's doing right now. Teaching us how to be his little Christ-like ones. That's what Christian means. Christian doesn't mean someone goes to a big cathedral. Christian means little Christ-like ones. We are trying to walk upon the trail that Jesus walked out, that God says is, how, is the best way for us to discern and thrive and help others. And that's what it's all about. And that's why we're here in these days at this very time. We are here. It's not an accident, friends. It's not an accident. We're here to help. We're here to tell the truth, to learn that discernment so we can we can know the difference, so we can guide others. We have to learn, we have to practice, and then we guide. We have to do, we have to take action. We have to trust in Lord Jesus, God, but we have to take, take these days and enjoy them. Teach others how to have joy. Practice it yourself. Practice the simple joys. I'm going to go hiking. Look for a video. Probably Saturday, maybe I'll be done. Thanks for watching. You are loved, and I love you, and I'll see you soon.